Hi, I'm Dr. Sarah Saman with Legacy Heart Center. What a lot of women don't know is that heart disease is the number one killer of women as well as men. One in three of us will die of some form of cardiovascular disease. Now, in general, we think of heart disease as being a disease that happens in older people. But in fact, about 45% of heart attacks happen before the age of 65. Women tend to develop heart disease later in life. But it turns out that in women under the age of 45, heart attacks are on the rise, whereas in all other groups, including men under 45, we're seeing fewer heart attacks every year. Over half a million women every year will die of cardiovascular disease, so it's a huge problem. But the good news is that most of the time, heart disease can be prevented. Less than a third of women know what their risks are for heart disease. And so there's a great deal of room for improvement, and there's so much that we can do to help you. Now, a lot of women believe that breast cancer is their number one risk, but it turns out that one in eight women will develop breast cancer, whereas one in three women will develop heart disease. Now, 85% of heart disease can be prevented. We know that some of that requires medical treatment, meaning treatment of blood pressure, treatment of diabetes, and treatment of high cholesterol, which are all risk factors. But what you may not know is 70 to 75% of the prevention is up to you. So that includes diet, exercise, a healthy lifestyle, and managing other risk factors such as stress and sleep that can contribute to heart disease. I always tell my patients that it's up to you to take control of your numbers. So you wanna make sure that your blood pressure is under good control, that your cholesterol numbers are good, that you keep your body weight in a healthy range, and that you keep your blood sugar in a normal range as well. Now these numbers can be checked by your doctor on a regular basis. When it comes to diet, it's important to know what you need in order to maintain a healthy weight, as well as what the important components of a healthy diet are. So if we want to look at that from a simplified standpoint, a Mediterranean diet is the best way to go. That's a diet that includes healthy amounts of fat, good complex carbohydrates, and healthy lean protein. By following this kind of diet, you may reduce your risk of a heart attack by as much as 50% and also lower your risk of cancer and Alzheimer's disease. In addition, some studies have even found a reduction in the likelihood of developing depression. Another thing that I think is really important for all of us to understand, but especially women as we get older, is that exercising two and a half hours a week can lower your heart attack, stroke, and dementia risk by as much as 30%. Managing stress, maintaining healthy relationships, and getting good quality sleep every night can have a huge impact on our health and well-being. We're here to help you take control of your heart health, to live a longer, healthier, and happier life. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.